Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the doctor of common sense. There is a rumor out there that says that they're planning on replacing the most uh, capable Joseph Biden. Uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare, Thank you, President. Al, and, and, and Joan, Shingang, I'm going to pronounce it right, Shanga Ko, Koala. Gretchen, Gretchen Whitmer, the governor of Michigan. Is this the same woman who locked down the whole damn state, kept the kids out of school, and her husband went up to one of their many homes she said he went up there when everybody else was locked down because he had to rake some leaves. You Governor, I know you did just address some of the uh, rumors that were surfacing the Internet. Um, when you open region six and eight, you advise people not to rush up there and overwhelm the area. Um, just moments ago, you mentioned that your family's been staying home for the past several weeks, but there were some reports that you did spend time up north. Are those reports true? So, as you know, uh, a few weeks ago, we dropped the travel ban so that if people had a second residence, it was permitted to go to a second residence. My husband did go up to our place in Antrim County and raked some leaves and came home. Um, so he saw cool. Now, I don't understand this because all this time you people have been telling us that Joe Biden is capable when we all saw that you were filthy liars. So why would it be any different? Why would anybody think that we're going to listen to anything Gretchen Whitmer says? I think it was Tudor Dixon who called her out on the lies about the the lockdown only happened for three months, and then she tried to change that also. Tudor Dixon says that I kept students out longer than any other state. That's just not true. I worked closely with my Republican and Democratic governors, and kids were out for three months. Um, the federal governors, and kids were out for three months. Three months. A few minutes later. Sure, I just heard an audible gasp around town when Gretchen Whitmer said that kids were out of school for three months. Perhaps she wasn't paying attention to what was actually happening. Even We even had schools that were closed this year. This is shocking to me. It well for the people who's trying to replace Joe Biden. First of all, like I said, I don't think it's that easy because of the rules in place with the delegates and everything else. Now, having said that also, have we forgotten who Gret Gretchen Whitmer is? As a matter of fact, before I go any further and get off into that fake kidnapping by the FBI, I have a woman doing some sign language, and she's telling you some things who Gret Gretchen Whit Whitmer really is. This dirty is. hooker is lying. Everything she's saying is a lie. She locked down the damn country. Then she lied about how she opened it up and she only locked it down for three months. But she's a dirty hooker and everybody knows she's a dirty hooker. Her husband is a metrosexual piece of trash and she's lied about every damn thing as far as I can see. So please don't believe a damn word that's coming out of her mouth. She's a dirty hooker. We have forgotten that Gretchen Whitmer and a bunch of those from the left, including the media, was trying to blame the fake kidnapping on Donald Trump the right-wing extremists. But we do find out that the FBI had infiltrated and tried to entrap some of the militia groups down in Michigan. Even the court system saw this. The FBI was destroyed in court, tried to entrap two men accused of plotting the kidnapping of Gretchen, which, well, Gretchen uh, Whitmer. Sad part about the whole situation is, is that there were more FBI informants than it was actually suspects. And so when you see the FBI fabricating a case in order to help Joe Biden out, because this is around 2020, they want you to believe that there was hate that was generated by Donald Trump. But most of the dumbasses didn't get it. If you believe anything the government or those who's the propaganda wing of the government, namely the media, including the social media platforms, you're not paying attention. All you have to do is pay attention to their tactics and methods. There are always, any organization you have, beware of the infiltrators now. I'm suspicious of everyone now.
Because what you have to realize is that the government has infiltrated just about everything and they'll use any methods to try to blackmail you and trap you. But the jury verdict exposed how the feds have created this monster they paraded to vindicate their vast power over Americans. Michigan was one of those swing states in 2020 that they said Joe Biden won, wink, wink. But they wanted to accuse people of domestic terrorism. So do I believe that Gretchen Whitmer would be the candidate? Who knows with the Democrats? It ain't like they have to follow rules. It ain't like rules apply to them. But if you're looking for a candidate, I don't know if Gretchen Whitmer is any better than Joe Biden. Okay, she can speak and read a teleprompter without making a fool of herself. But I think Tudor Dixon actually won in Michigan. I don't believe for one minute that Gretchen Whitmer even won in Michigan, just like Joe Biden didn't get 81 million damn votes.